everyone, in today's video, we're going to be going through 2021 AMC 10A, problem 22. So in this problem, we have algebra notes that are 50 pages long and printed on 25 sheets of paper. And someone's roommate decides to borrow some pages from the middle of the notes. And the after he comes back, he realizes that the average of the page numbers of the remaining sheets is 19. And we're trying to find how many sheets were borrowed. So we're going to set up some system of equations here. Let the first page that was borrowed be x. And let's say that the roommate borrowed n pages. We want to say, we want to write some system of equation that tells us that the average of the sheets is 19. So our initial sum of the sheets is 50 times 51 over 2, which is 1275. And the sequence of sheets that the roommate takes is x, x plus 1, all the way up till x plus 2n minus 1. Again, remember that when he takes n pages, he's taking two sided sheets. So these are all the pages that the roommate takes. And the sum of this arithmetic sequence is going to be the number of terms, which is 2n times the average of the first and last term, which is x plus x plus 2n minus 1 over 2. And this is equal to n times 2x plus 2n minus 1. So from here, we can use this to write our system of equations. We need to know that after our initial 1, 2, 7, 5, the sum of the terms the pages that have been removed is n times 2x plus 2n minus 1. We have 50 minus 2n pages remaining, and this average is equal to 19. So when we multiply by both sides, 50 minus 2n, we get 1, 2, 7, 5 minus n times 2x plus 2n minus 1 is equal to 950 minus 38n. At this point, we want to simplify more. We can start off by rearranging terms and moving them, and we'll see that we get 325 is equal to n times 2x plus 2n minus 39. So now we know that n must be a divisor of 325. Factorizing this gives 5 squared times 13. So theoretically, we could check all of our factors between of this number, but realistically, we can look at our answer choices. There is only one factor of 325 that is an answer choice, and that's 13. So we immediately know that 13 is our answer and can stop at this point, although you could test all the answer choices to see which one works if you wanted to. So our answer is 13, which is B. So just to recap, we set up a system of equations based on the first page and the number of pages that the roommate took. We used the arithmetic series formula to find their sum and wrote this equation, plugged our values in, and found that 13 would be our answer because it is our only multiple of 325. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please make sure to like and subscribe.